Hi everybody, I'm Greg Fischel. Welcome to bonus weather video number one for this week. I'm going to be going into a little bit more detail about uh, the thunderstorm threat today, why it's been uh, very, very quiet so far in our neck of the woods today, but how that could change uh, this evening. So I'm going to go on ahead and show you a program which I've mentioned a few times uh, before, and that is called Buff Kit. And it basically takes information from the numerical models and predicts what the atmosphere will look like over you, all the way from the ground up into the lower part of the stratosphere. And we call this a sounding, when weather balloons go up all over the world exactly the same time every day. As they take data, as they go upward, uh, then by the time it gets finished up top and the balloon pops, then you have what we call an atmospheric sounding, everything you ever wanted to know about the atmosphere from top to bottom but were afraid to ask. So, one of the things you can do with this is take a look at something called the convective temperature, and that's the temperature at which you have to reach in order for air to be able to begin to rise, be buoyant or warmer than its environment, and accelerate upward and grow into big thunderstorms. Well, if it's abnormally warm in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, which was the case today, then that convective temperature gets pretty high. And when you don't see a single cumulus cloud anywhere in the sky, which was the case for many of us this afternoon, and it's hot and it's humid, that's telling you something's going on up there. Something is getting in the way of the normal development of cumulus clouds in a hot, humid pattern. And the, that inhibiting factor today was this warmth in the mid-level of the atmosphere, which we call a cap. Okay, So I know this is impossible to see, but what you can do with this manually is that we're starting off down here. This red line is the temperature at all the different levels of the atmosphere. And the air starts to rise, and it goes along what we call a dry adiabat. And then once it becomes saturated about in here, then it begins to go along what we call the moist adiabat, because once you have saturation, then latent heat is released, and it can't cool the way it did when it was dry, because there's heat being released. So it cools at a less rapid rate. Where this yellow line shows up here, right on top of the red line, which is the actual temperature, this is where the air parcel becomes buoyant. Okay? And then, from that point forward, buoyancy is a force, which means there's acceleration going on. And the bigger the area between the atmospheric temperature and this air parcel temperature, this area in here is what we call CAPE, which stands for Convective Available Potential Energy. And the bigger that area is, then the more buoyant the air is, the quicker it accelerates upward and you know, can really grow into some big, big storms. Now, this area at 3 p.m. this afternoon was not all that terribly big. Let's move on ahead now to 9 o'clock, the forecast for 9 o'clock tonight. And now, this area is huge, okay? Now, we still had the issue, maybe not quite as much, we still had the issue of getting through this mid-layer, uh, this warm, the cap, as, as we call it. But the warm layer has been eroded a little bit. And so it's going to be a little bit easier now with the approach of this wave in the upper atmosphere to force that air upward, get it to the position where it's what we call uh, uh, the level of free convection. In other words, it's basically free to go. All the inhibitions have been taken away and, you know, you go, you know. And so if the wave in the upper atmosphere is strong enough to do that, then we could go from virtually no activity this evening to a whole slew of activity in a very short period of time. And so the question in my mind right now is, is the wave going to be strong enough in the upper atmosphere to do that? And the honest answer that I can give you right now is, I don't know. When you have these competing influences, one pushing in this direction and the other pushing in the other, then it becomes very difficult in real time to assess which one's going to win out. Uh, so the potential is definitely there, even though we've seen nothing to this point. The potential is still very much there, and I will be in monitor mode all evening long and let you know what I see winning out. And uh, that's going to go a long way in determining whether or not all of you see strong thunderstorms tonight, uh, some severe, or whether or not it's more of a widely scattered occurrence. And so that remains to be seen. That's what I'll be watching, and I'll update you throughout the evening into the wee hours of the morning as to how all of that is going. All right, I hope that made a little sense. That's bonus weather video number one for this week. There are the credits. Uh, again, updates coming up throughout the evening. And after that, I'll have a chance to talk to you tomorrow with both the daily weather update and the bonus weather video. So we'll see you then, folks. Take care and uh, stay tuned.